New York City just banned discrimination based on hair. New York City has banned policies and practices that penalize black people based on the texture and style of their hair. City leaders say that such actions violate these individuals' human rights and are against the law. The New York City Commission on Human Rights announced February 18th that it is issuing guidance on an existing law. The law prohibits discrimination based on race, gender, or religion. The new guidance says that the same law also applies to hair. It is about more than what is in style. Hairstyles are an integral part of black identity going back many years in history. A photo with a powerful message. One of my favorite photographs of President Barack Obama is him in the Oval Office leaning down to allow five-year-old Jacob Philadelphia to touch his hair said Carmelin Malalis. She is the New York City Human Rights Commissioner and Chairwoman. Malalis called Obama's behavior a powerful message of affirmation. As we were developing the guidance, we had a lot of conversations about the harm that is done to people when they are stigmatized and controlled in regards to who they are and how they move through space. Today being President's Day, buoys our hope that legislators will take notice. Malayla said, the day of the announcement, February 18th, was President's Day. The law bans such bias in workplaces, schools, and public spaces. Public spaces include spots ranging from restaurants to nightclubs to museums. Black hairstyles have been singled out. The legal protections apply to any group whose hairstyles are associated with their ethnic identity. For those of African descent, in particular, Hair texture and styles have often been singled out and are a historic target for abuse. Five years ago, the U.S. Department of Defense started a ban on afros, braids, and twists, all of which are traditionally black hairstyles. It reversed the ban after a backlash. In December, there was public outrage after a 16-year-old athlete named Andrew Johnson was forced by a referee to cut his hair before he could proceed with his wrestling match. A TV anchor says her braids led to her termination. Brittany Noble Jones said she faced hair discrimination when she was fired from her job as a television anchor last year. She worked for WJTV in Jackson, Mississippi. She said that wearing braids on air led to performance reviews at work and later her termination. Noble Jones, who is based in New York, called the city commission's announcement huge. The fact we have been worried about this all these years is one thing, but I'm very excited we can move forward, she said. She is glad they can rock our hair and wear it the way God intended us to wear it, she said. WJTV and its parent company, Nexstar, denied that Noble Jones was fired over her hair. They said in a statement that their rules do not allow harassment, discrimination, or retaliation of any type. Allegations that Miss Jones' appointment was terminated for her choice of hairstyles have no basis in fact. Hair is connected to civil rights. The New York City Commission said it is looking into seven cases in which black workers say they were targeted based on their hair. Some workers say where they were threatened with termination if they did not stop wearing dreadlocks, also referred to as locks, which the employer arbitrarily considered unclean. Other workers say they had to pull back their braids, although their co-workers were allowed to wear their hair down. Such complaints accompany incidents around the country in which black workers and school children have been harassed because of their hair. The complaints caused the New York Commission to clarify that the city's law against discrimination applies in those cases. This is big, said Nolowi Rooks, professor of Africana Studies at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Hair is connected to civil rights. The civil rights movement, which took place during the 1950s and 1960s, was the beginning of the fight for Black people to gain equal rights under the law. Rooks said hair needs to be protected by the law. A symbol of pride for many years. Black hair has been deeply symbolic in the United States since at least the 1800s and even before that. It has been a stand-in for a kind of black identity that refuses to assimilate. For many, natural hair symbolizes a rejection of the racist pressures placed on black people to conform to white beauty ideals in order to stay safe and succeed in the United States. 
Brooks explained that in the 1800s, after the Civil War, there were large numbers of African Americans leaving enslavement and moving, moving north in search of employment in desegregated cities. There was a lot more contact between communities on more equal footing, she said of the interactions between white and black peoples. The narrative is, you don't just look civilized, you just don't look professional, she said. Natural hair became a powerful symbol of pride during the black power movement of the 1960s. The movement supported rights and political power for black people. It's less about fitting in, Rook said. I'm proud how hair grows out of my head.